On the programme last week, we heard from the Bishop of Pontefract, Tony Robinson, about an initiative to encourage better interfaith relations in Pakistan. The Diocese of Wakefield arranged a visit to Britain for a group of religious leaders and law enforcement officials from an area of Pakistan where nine Christians were killed in Muslim-led riots. Our reporter Gavin Drake spent the day with them in Yorkshire. It was built close to industry for monks who wanted to get their hands dirty. But 115 years later, with most of its industrial neighbours gone, Murfield now provides an idyllic setting for the community of the Resurrection and a theological college's conference centre. And it's here that Christian and Muslim leaders from West Yorkshire are gathering to meet their counterparts from Pakistan. So welcome uh, to uh, this cleric's tea. Uh... Madrasa principal, Havis Abdul Hay, told the meeting that nine Christians were killed in his town of Godra in 2009 as a result of interreligious violence. And he went on to say how this had brought the two communities together. We are from Godra and on 1st of August 2009, there was an unfortunate incident in Godra. There was an incident which involved the Muslims and Christians from Godra, but that incident brought a very bad name for Godra all over the world. And since then, we are trying to uh, clear Godra of the blame which has sort of come on Godra, and we've been working with the Christian community to improve our relationships. The Bishop of Pontefract, Tony Robinson, is positive about the developing interfaith movement in Pakistan. Because of a tragedy in the town where they come from, they have begun to talk together, share together, and work together. But there's a long way to go, and this is certainly not just having a cup of tea and a samosa together. This is trying to address real issues. A few miles down the road in Huddersfield, three Pakistani police officers have spent the day with West Yorkshire Police, meeting the town's religious communities. I'm Inspector Mohammed Ralph from West Yorkshire Police and I cover the Huddersfield North uh, Police Team area. The visit from our colleagues from Pakistan has served, in my opinion, to reinforce how vital relationships with all communities uh, is pivotal to ensuring success within our communities. I've lived in Huddersfield all my life and I think that Huddersfield is one of the most successful towns in, in the entire country when it comes to community engagement, community cohesion. I am Hamid Farooz, DSP, Punjab Police, and I have found so much good new good habits. I've seen here police station uh, having what did they do there, and judiciary. I will request to my seniors to implement these things in Pakistan. Back at Murfield, the official part of the cleric's tea has finished and the participants are talking through what they've heard and particularly how to encourage their respective faiths more hardline followers to engage with interfaith dialogue. Havis Abdul Hay. Yes, it happens in Pakistan as well because the things that we are discussing are sensitive and there are groups who don't agree with us. So, yes, there is a clash uh, when, when we talk about these issues. But the other thing is that People think that when people like Mulan Abdul Hay are getting closer to Christians, the community thinks that they shouldn't be getting closer to the Christians and we should maintain our own identity. Hello, I am Reverend Canon Simon Moore. I'm the vicar of uh, St. Peter's Huddersfield, which is the parish church in Huddersfield itself. I think that any faith group, be it Christian or Muslim or any other faith group, if they have a very insular looking and that they are right and nobody else is right, they are fearful of any dialogue with any other faith or any other group that are different. But actually, it should be that those sorts of individuals need to, to grow out and see the good in others, and particularly through their beliefs and their faith. Safra Sagar pastors the Lighthouse Pentecostal Church in Godra. It's never easy, not only that when we sit together as Christians and Muslims, but even when we sit amongst our own communities, our own faith groups, Christians sitting with Christians and discussing these issues, or Muslims sitting among themselves, yes, uh, it does become tense. The problem is that each side thinks that they are right, and that is what the reason is. And interfaith harmony, it has just started in Pakistan. So it's going to take time. My name is Mohammed Panda. I'm the General Secretary of Rabat al-Ulama, which represents about 200 ulama, Islamic scholars, in Dewsbury and Butler. We need to get to the bottom of what the issues are. Why is this other Muslim group not engaging? One of the suggestions I put forward was maybe they are linking the issue in Pakistan with the national, you know, the war against Islam. 
But they need to try and decouple that and say, not in our name, and try and do something from that angle. Because what's happening at a national level, it does need to be addressed, but it's not something that they're going to solve at a local level, and local level people are suffering. That, that message is not coming out. Bishop Tony Robinson is committed to interfaith dialogue that makes a difference and sees no reason why people with a hard-line view of their faith should exclude themselves from the process. Quite often when Christians and Muslims meet together, we're described as being moderate people because we are seen to be watering down each other's faiths in order to meet together. But I think the people gathered here today are not moderates at all. I'm certainly very serious about my faith. So I would not want to describe my faith as being a moderate thing. It's the most important thing to me in my life, as it is to, I think, to everyone gathered in this room. So uh, not to call us moderates, but to call us, I wouldn't want to use the word uh, fundamental or extreme, but certainly serious in our faith. Bishop Tony Robinson ending that report by Gavin Drake. <laughs>